The Chopar joint is a crucial part of any ankle joint assessment. An injury to this complex represents a more significant injury than an ATFL tear, but it's often overlooked and missed on ultrasound. The ligaments of the Chopar joint include the talonavicular ligament, bifurcate ligament, as well as the dorsal lateral calcano cuboid ligament, spring ligament, and the long and short plantar ligaments. But from a pragmatic perspective and from an ultrasound point of view, assessment of the illustrated talonavicular and bifurcate ligaments is a must. To identify the talonavicular ligament, I start from the anterior ankle joint and move the probe towards the great toe. We'll see the talar dome, talar neck, and the next bone we see is that of the navicular. An ultrasound lends itself to comprehensive assessment of this ligament. We can easily identify a normal ligament and a torn talonavicular ligament. Some pitfalls to be aware of include the os supranaviculare, an accessory ossicle not to be mistaken for an avulsion fracture. This is the x-ray correlate which shows a os supranaviculare. The next pitfall to be aware of is the width of the talonavicular ligament. Here we can see at the medial aspect of the ligament, the ligament appears normal and intact, but at the lateral margin we are seeing a navicular avulsion fracture, which is confirmed on the subsequent x-ray images. Bifurcate ligament is the next most important ligament to assess in the Chopin complex. To identify this, I simply palpate the anterior tubercle of the calcaneus, which is such an important structure anatomically. From the anterior tubercle of the calcaneus, we simply align the probe with that of the cuboid to identify the calc cuboid component of the bifurcate ligament. And here is an avulsion fracture of the anterior tubercle of the calcaneus, a common injury. To get the calc navicular component, we simply anchor at one end of the probe on the anterior tubercle of the calcaneus and rotate the probe until we identify the navicular. The lateral tarsal artery can be used as a landmark to help identify the medial limb of the bifurcate ligament. On x-rays, we're looking for fractures at this point here and sometimes we'll be able to identify this on the AP ankle x-ray. So make sure we're assessing those ligaments of the Chopin joint. Thanks for watching guys. Like and subscribe for more content.